After the vapor container hatch was removed from SM1, the team began removing the primary reactor coolant system large components through the hatch opening using a 235-ton crane in May 2023. First, the team removed the moisture separator loop, which was attached to the top of the steam generator. The moisture separator loop and the steam generator produced dry, saturated steam, which was used by the turbine. The turbine used the steam to create electricity. Then, the team removed the two reactor coolant pumps. The pumps were used to circulate the water to transfer heat between the reactor and the steam generator. Once the reactor coolant pumps were removed from the vapor container, they were safely placed into intermodal containers for waste transportation and disposal. Each pump weighed approximately 3,500 pounds. The team removed the stairs that lead from the operating floor to the top of the reactor's primary shield tank. The removal of the staircase allowed access to the steam generator and pressurizer for their subsequent removal. Fixative was used to bind any loose contamination to the surface of the components before they exited the vapor container. Here you can see the steam generator being painted with the blue colored fixative and being prepared for removal. The steam generator weighed approximately 24,000 pounds. The steam generator transferred the heat from the reactor coolant system and, along with the moisture separator, produced dry, saturated steam which was used by the turbine. The steam generator was placed in an open sealand container for transportation and disposal. The team then removed the pressurizer. The pressurizer was used to regulate the reactor coolant system pressure. Again, the team used fixative to bind any loose contamination to the surface of the pressurizer. The pressurizer weighed approximately 8,300 pounds. The pressurizer was placed directly inside an intermodal container for transportation and disposal. With these large primary reactor coolant system components removed, the team will begin disassembly of the reactor shielding, including the primary shield tank and the shield rings and the removal of the reactor pressure vessel.